What is up, YouTube? How y'all doing today? Um, today it's gonna be another vlog type, I think. Um, I'm just on my way to school today. I got class. Sorry that this video took a while to be made. Uh, got a lot of stuff with school. Finals coming up. Finals is basically this week and next week. Um, what else? I've also been checking out a few things with this car. I had recently used the scanner to scan the car and a few codes popped up. Uh, one of them being P0305. I'm going to be working on my car soon. I'm going to be checking if the coil needs to be replaced or the spark plug. And then uh, I'm also going to be checking if other codes pop back up. That bring my check engine light up. Um, yeah, today it's just an easy day. I'm going to class. I don't think I'm really going to record what I'm doing in class because it's really just essay stuff. But uh, I wanted to explain actually what... You know what? We'll go over my codes today and I'll explain what they mean, what codes I had showing up and yeah, I'll explain just a little bit of what I got with my situation going on Um, because the car runs, turns on fine, you know, almost everything in the car runs, it's just having a little problems which i'll explain um so let me finish class i'll come back home i'll explain some of these that i got hopefully and then um i'll carry on from there and i'll see uh what i can do all right i'll see y'all in a bit i will come back home and i will explain these codes for you and uh give you a little bit of my input um i'm not the most knowledgeable person i know zero to negative about cars so um it's mainly self-taught and lesson learning i'm just going through it learning my lessons and that's just that's just how life is you know so Right here on this paper, forgive my mess. I have a list. Oh man, you can't see it. I have a list. There you go. These are my seven codes. P0410, P2188, P0011, P0019, P0305, which is the one I was talking about. P2006, P2190. So I'm not sure if you were reading on the side what I had next to it. What I had next to it was my keynotes to figuring out what these codes meant. So for the first code that I mentioned, P0410, it was telling me that um, I had a problem with the secondary air injection system. For my code P2188, it it was telling me with that code, system too rich at idle, which is why I'm assuming that I'm getting the vibrations when I'm uh, when I'm not moving or when I'm slowly slowly moving. It stops when you're driving, or it's unnoticeable when you're driving. Maybe I'm not sure, but it, I can definitely feel that you know roughness when when idle the code p0011 means the camshaft position in bank one um the code for p0019 i didn't write that one down i was scanning this car with my uncle my uncle's the one that's helping me out 
Uh, can't remember if that one was similar to the camshaft one. I believe it should be though. Or if not, it was something that I really wasn't worried about as of now. Um, it could have just been an error. Uh, P0305 is the one that I'm... Uh, it's my top priority right now to get that one fixed. It is meaning the cylinder five misfire. So if you get a P0300 code, it is, I believe, a random misfire in the cylinders or in the engine. Um, but it really depends on the car because mine is a E350 2006. So mine tells me right now it's telling me that... Um, I specifically have cylinder five misfiring. So I, if I was getting P0301, I believe it would have been cylinder one. If I was getting P0302, it would have been two, three, it would have been three, four, it would have been four. This one in case is five. The next one, six, would have been cylinder six, of course. And because my Mercedes is a V6 engine, it has six cylinders. Um, the code P2. 006 is meaning that my intake manifold is stuck closed so i have to figure that part out because i'm not really sure how to get to the intake manifold and how to fix that stuck issue um so that's also another main concern of mine uh then i get this code p2 one nine zero saying too rich at bank two um i'm guessing it's something similar to the system being rich at idle so i think this one is telling me specifically where and uh yeah so the one that's my main concern is the misfire the cylinder five misfire um, a misfire is a symptom that occurs when your engine combustion cycle is either too fast or too slow. So, I have to figure what um, exactly would need to be replaced and what is causing that little problem. Because if that keeps misfiring or since it is misfiring in my engine when it's running, I... I believe I have a knock. So, when I am uh, going to attempt to start the car, so I have the key, get ready to place it into the ignition there. Steering wheel sets, turn it once, and you put the car onto the thing. You turn it one more time and the car is at the on position. Turn it one more time and it starts. My check engine light. Starting to flash. You can hear the vibration or you can see it definitely. I'm holding it on the steering wheel. Hold it on top of the steering wheel. On the dashboard. You can hear that. So that's system too rich at idle. You do not want to be having that. That is the cylinder five misfire that I'm talking about. Um, the knocks in the engine are creating an irregular um, combustion cycle for the engine. So it's not, it's not properly firing up the way that it needs to i hope you know this would be something um 
for me to do at home because you know spark plug change and a coil pack change would be fine but I really don't want to have to do other things because of my financial situation and you know school being a full-time college student is pretty difficult to be dealing with the Mercedes especially to be putting money into it that I don't have so um so that's it for today's video anyways um i'm just gonna leave it at that because i wanted to keep it kind of short for today because i know the last video was really boring and probably didn't want to sit through that so i hope that this one was better um and i hope that you know you guys have a great day uh forgive me for not being consistent with the content but it's kind of hard because i don't really want to it's embarrassing to like do this stuff at home. I'd rather do this by myself because I, I just have a better relationship with myself than I do with others anyways. Um, I appreciate you for your time. Thank you for spending your time with me. Uh, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Mm -hmm.